All right, so before we start talking about DHCP and what we can do with that, let's finish up our security group settings. I don't know if you remember from the previous video, and I highly suggest that you watch it because it ties into this directly. We set up this tech support security group so that way we can apply it to the new people that get hired. So these are tech support people. We, see, we can see a bunch of members. And here's a security group that's supposed to be applied to all the new computers and grant administrator privileges to all the tech support personnel or members that are going to need it. So here are members of this tech support group policy. Again, we have Bob Smith, Kobo Man, Sammy Rowe, and, and that's fine. I showed in the previous video how this actually would work when you have it set up so that it applies automatically to all the new computers that join the domain and the, that way you can have access administrator access to it so that way you can make any changes if need be however that's actually not happening automatically that's not happening automatically what i showed you before is kind of manually just applying this tech support group to our computer that we've installed which was specifically this one and the way we did that was right click manage and that way we, we went into the local users and groups and then access the administrators at local level for that computer specifically went in there and added tech support as part of the local administrators we clicked ok we clicked apply and that added all that that created administrator uh, access for all the people that are members of the tech support so I'm going to cancel out of this and I'm just going to double check to, to show that it's not added now anymore because I went ahead and removed it. However, we can make this automated. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to use an existing group policy that will do this for us. So we're just going to piggyback off of it. All right, I'm going to close this and we're going to back to uh, we're going to go back to our security group that we've created for our tech support members. So we're going to piggyback of it. We have members here, then we're going to make it a member off. So again, we're going to piggyback onto it. We're going to make it member off. So remember, Kobo Man is right now logged in into Windows 10 machine. You can see here, there's Kobo Man. Um, and if I was to, for example, do any changes right now, I wouldn't be able to. For example, even view the device manager. I'm just going to get an error that says you're logged in as a standard user you know you have to be administrator to make any changes right now i can just view it i can't make any changes so we can fix that if i go to our tech support group policy and make it a member of another group that has these privileges that are automatically applied to all the new computers added to our active directory then we can just call it a win a big win right we don't have to work for that it's automatically done for us so all i did was just search for a keyword domain because i'm looking for a specific security group that would do this for us and here it is and, and if you look at the one that's called domain computers and in the description it says all workstations and servers joined to the domain that means this is going to be applying administrative privileges to all workstations and servers joined to the domain. And that's exactly what we want. So uh, we're going to click on that, make sure that's selected, click OK, click Apply, and then OK. So now, again, just to reiterate real quick, our tech support group is now a member of another group that's going to apply administrative privileges to new computers that are added to the domain. Okay, so again, we're just going to have to reboot or just sign off, sign back on. Again, right now, until I do that, it's not going to work. So I'm going to sign off. I'm going to sign out, sign out and log back in. And then once I do that, it's going to work just fine. Here we go. It's loading and right click device manager. And there we go. It's working as intended. So all the new computers that are added to this uh, domain, this Active Directory will have automatically add our group, which is tech support and give us administrator privileges. Just to kind of show you that I'm not cheating or anything like that. If I go to edit local users and groups 
and we look at groups and I look at administrators we can see that there are no changes in here now right? I haven't gone in and manually added anything like that right and I am logged in as Kobuman. you do not see Kobuman listed here that's okay because he's part of that other security group that overrides these settings and applies these settings automatically to new computers on the domain now there are better ways of doing this this is just a, a workaround that we're going to use for now for the sake of learning.